day everyone, we are from SBIP1C and we will show you how network cable works. Before we begin our video, I will first explain kung ano nga ba ang straight through and crossover cables. So first, ano nga ba ang straight through cable? A straight through cable is an Ethernet cable where both ends have the same wire color order. Usually following the T568B standard, this type of cable is commonly used to connect different devices such as a computer to a switch or a router. A crossover cable, on the other hand, has different wiring patterns on each end. One end follows the T568A standard and the other end follows T568B. Crossover cables are used to connect similar devices such as PC to PC or switch to switch. Dora, and today we're going on an adventure. Yay! What adventure, Dora? Today we're going to make straight through and crossover cables. That sounds fun. But first, who do we ask when we don't know where to go? The, the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. In creating a cable, there are three ways to follow. First, strip the cable. Second, arrange the wires. Third, crimp the connector. Say it with me. Crimp, arrange, crimp. Crimp, arrange, crimp. But Dora, what are the things we need? Let's go backpack for the things we need. Backpack! Backpack! Backpack, backpack, backpack. Backpack here. I have everything you'll need. You'll need the UTP cables. RG45 connectors, crimping tool, and the stripper tool. Wow. Thanks, Papa! Dora the Explorer! Number 1. Cut the cable to length. Use the cutter on the crimper. Cut squarely to the length you need. Number 2. Remove outer jacket or cover. But Dora? Which colors do we follow? Hmm, let's ask the map. Straight through, both ends follow the t 568 Repeat after me. White, white orange, 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 white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, brown. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna mix the wires. Oh no! Swiper is trying to switch our wires. Oh no! Let's all say swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Oh man! Number three, expose the pairs or show the wires. Number four, untwist and straighten each conductor. Number five, arrange the wires in the correct order. Arrange wires left to right in the T568B order or C colorless above and keep them flat and tight. Number six, trim the wires even or cut to the same length. With the wires flat and in order, trim the ends so they are even and about 12 mm beyond the jacket. Cut straight across so all conductors are identical length. Number 7. Insert wires into RJ45 plug. Hold the RJ45 plug so the clip is facing down or the contacts facing up depending on plug orientation. Number 8. Crimp the connector. Place the plug into the crimping tool and squeeze firmly until the plastic tab is set and the contacts are pressed into the wires. This secures the connector and makes the electrical contact. Number 9. Show or inspect both ends of the connector. Number 10. Test with cable tester. Plug each end into the tester. The tester should indicate continuity for pins. 1, 2, to 8. Yay! For this 
over, the other side uses T568A, and the other side uses T568B. That means the orange pairs and green pairs switch places. That's how the wires cross! I understand now. Number 1. Cut cable. Cut the required length. Square cut. Number 2. Remove protective jacket. Number 3. Straighten the wires. Number 4. Arrange the wires. Arrange one end to T568A order, the other end to T568B order. Important! Make sure to do opposite standards on each end. Number 5. Insert to RJ45. Insert wires fully into plug and ensure jacket sits inside plug for strain relief. Number 6. Crimp the wire. Number 7. Show both sides. Number 8. Tester. Use the tester. Yay! We did it! We made straight through and crossover cable wires! We did it! We did it! Yay! Yay!